In this video, I just want to show you how I've set up my templates in V3 to make individual program design really, really ridiculously fast. So as you know, in PT Distinction, programs are set up as programs, and then you can set up as many workouts as you want within each program, and each workout can have as many sections as you like. So what I've done for the templates is the programs are the type of training. The workouts I've split up into type of clients or training split. And the sections I've split up into equipment available and the level the client is at. So I'm just going to very quickly scroll down and I'll show you my programs. So this would be the type of training. So I've got warm ups and cool downs, which I put at the top. Now, just notice with these that I've put 1 and 1.1. So if you number any of your templates, that will set the orders. So the order is in numbers and then alphabetic. So if you want to order them, you can just do something like that. I've got 1 at 1.1, but you could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Entirely up to you. Warm-ups, cool-downs, cardio interval programs. I've got finishes, home circuits, kickboxing drills, metabolic circuits, speed agility quickness and then various strength methods 6 12 25 cluster edt german volume heavy light strength circuits etc so that's how i've split up the programs and that's how i've named the different programs now as i say you can have multiple workouts inside each program so if i go up to my warm-ups i'll show you how i've split up warm-ups and cool downs which are both set out exactly the same way To easily show you this inside the workout editor, I'm going to go into multi-workout view. And what you see is I've split it up, the workouts into stiff low back priority, kyphosis priority and general warm-ups. Now obviously I could put as many different workouts as I like and split them up into many different priorities. Now this obviously is the type of client, so I would know this from doing my assessment and then the level at which the client is at, so I've got level 1 for each type and then level two for each type and level three for each type. And obviously you can go on and make as many levels as you like, but this is as the client progresses. So that is how I've got my warm-ups and my cooldowns set out. So these are very much type of clients and then the level that they're at. I'll go back into my program templates. I'm going to scroll down to some of the strength training protocols because for those I have a little bit more information in there because I want a little bit more information when I'm making my clients programs. So I'm going to come into EDT and go into the program editor. Once again, I'm going to flick into the multi-workout view. So I've got the workouts in here split up into the training split. Now, chest and back legs and shoulders and arms and obviously you can write your splits in any way you like. I also do a lot of whole body training and with the strength training methods I just put them together into whole body programs with other ones such as the home training I just have whole body circuits so you know you can split them up exactly as you like I've got them in training splits. Then there's a little bit more detail in the sections. So I've got level one, as we had in the warm ups and cool downs, level two, level three, except there's also equipment. So I've got level one barbell that goes across each different split, level two barbell, level three barbell, and then coming into level one dumbbell, level two dumbbell, level three dumbbell, etc. So it carries on. We've got cables. And then I can also have whole gym equipment, no equipment, whatever I really want to do. So that's how the strength methods are split up. So it is training split. And then the sections are split into the level and the equipment. Again, I can mix and match based on what I know my client has as their level and has as their equipment. I just want to quickly show you my home circuits because these are just circuits, all whole body circuits, because that's the way I do my home programs. So I scroll down to home circuits and edit. Once again, multi-workout view. Now what you see with the way I've done these is actually I just got whole body workouts. I could also add splits in here, but I tend to do with my home circuits, all of them whole body. So I've just got one program, but it's one very long program. So I've got no equipment, level one, 
no equipment level two, no equipment level three, and I got dumbbell level one, dumbbell level two. So these are all pre-made circuits, and what you'll find is they've got all of the details, sets, reps, tempo, rest in there, notes of how to do absolutely everything, and all the details I want my clients to have. So that's how I've done it for those specific home circuits. So once again, my programs are set up into type of training, my workouts are set up into type of client or training split, and my sections are split up into equipment available and the level the client is at. So this means when I go into a client's dashboard and make them a workout, I can do this really, really, really fast. So I'm just gonna show you that in action. Click on clients, and I'm gonna search my client and go into their dashboard. Something I'd like to quickly point out is I have actually put in a custom questionnaire which just asks what equipment do you have and that just has a tick box so various tick boxes just saying please tick the type of equipment you have so I've got that in their dashboard and I know that just by flicking up that form it will also be under forms here so I will always know that for each one of my clients now I will have assessed my client beforehand because this is individual program design so I also know things like the levels they're at and what their particular priorities are with this information in mind about my client, here's how I make their individual programs. I click on add a program, and I'm gonna create a new program. Name the program. And then I've got workout one. Of course, I can change the name of my workouts and sections if I wish to, or I can leave them exactly as they are. I'm gonna come down to add another section and I'm gonna click on template. Now, I know that this particular client from the questionnaire and the conversations I've had with them has a stiff low back priority. I also know that they're level one clients and I know that they've got some dumbbells at home. So with this information, I'm gonna build their program super fast. So warm ups, stiff low back priority and level one, add that. So now they've got their warm up. As you can see, the sets and reps are all in there. Scroll down, add another section and once again, I'll click on my templates. I'm gonna give them a home circuit to do. So I will come down and choose from my home circuits. Now I know I've just got whole body there. And I know that the equipment they've got is some dumbbells and they're level one. So I'll go dumbbell level one. And then they have got their home circuit. So that's their workouts. And as you can see, they've got all the sets, reps, tempo, rest, etc., in there. So that's all laid out very nicely for them. I keep scrolling down and I'm going to add another section once again from my templates and I'm going to give them a cool down. So go to my cool downs, stiff low back priority again, and level one, add. And once again, all of the sets and reps are in there. So they now have their full workout that's basically built around their individual needs and their individual priorities and the equipment that they've got and I've built it in a matter of just a few seconds. Now I can change absolutely anything. So if there's something very specific for that client, I can just take out an exercise. I can add in any new exercises or I can edit any sets, reps, tempo, etc and make it completely individual for the client. Now I'm gonna quickly switch into the multi-workout view and I'll build him another workout. So under add a workout, I'm just gonna click that. And then I'm gonna build him another workout, adding sections. So click on template, give him a warm up. I'm gonna go again, stiff low back priority, level one warm up and add that in. Of course, I could have just copied from here and pasted that in. That would have been an equally quick method. Add another section, and I'm this time going to take from my EDT template. So probably I wouldn't give a level one client EDT, but this is just showing how I use the templates and how it works. So I will take from my strength methods, EDT. I'm going to do chest and back, and they are level one and they have some dumbbells, so level one dumbbell, and add. 
Now, what I'm also going to do, because I want this client doing mostly whole body programs, I'm going to add again from my EDT. And I'll do legs and shoulders this time. So legs and shoulders. Once again, I know their level and the equipment they've got. So level one dumbbell, add it in. So now I've got another program built for them. I put in their cooldown, which would basically be the same cooldown, the level one stiff low back priority. So in this case, I'm just gonna quickly show you the copy and paste in case you haven't seen it. So copy it there, add a section. So hit paste there and add. So I can do that. And I can do that putting up to 10 different sections or 10 different workouts into my clipboard. So that's also a very, very powerful time saving feature. Now, from any of these, you might want to actually change the name because the names are really set up for my templates. So from here, I just go to switch view and that will take me to the exact place in the other view. And I can switch it. And I can change the name. I can also see that all of the details are actually written in. So they've got all of the details that they need to do the program. And actually under notes, the notes that I put into my template are also there. So I just put notes, really putting into words exactly how to do that program. So there's no doubt for the client. So EDT, I go choose a weight. You can lift for a maximum of 10 reps, lift five reps on one exercise, then five on the other. Repeat for as many rounds as you can in 15 minutes. So that's how I've described this particular section to the client just to leave no doubt in their mind of what I want them to do and how I want them to do it. So I built two workouts for this client. I can schedule it as I want for the client. All of the acute variables are in there. All of the notes explaining to them exactly how to do it and what to do are in there. I can edit and change anything specific for this particular client. And it's all based around the knowledge I have of my client having done an assessment, having spoken to them and having found out what equipment they've got available for their training. So it is very, very individualized program design. And it's taken me a matter of just a few minutes. And really, if I wasn't talking making this video, I could have done it in a matter of seconds to make the two workouts. Personally, I would recommend that you build up your templates gradually because it has taken me a bit of time to set up my templates like this, but it's entirely up to you. And obviously you can set up your templates in any way you like. This is really just an idea of what I do and how much time it saves when you've got your templates organized in a fashion that you can use them by sections and by workouts and by entire programs.